Let's talk about, in my opinion, one of the most underrated matchups that we have in our league, just because they keep on running into each other late in the playoffs, and it is Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat versus Jason Tatum from the Boston Celtics. Um, it is like the third time that they've met in the playoffs in the past four, se- four seasons in the very late stages. In the bubble, the Miami Heat get the best uh, of the Boston Celtics in the conference finals and got them about the way. I believe it was in six games to go on and lose in six games to LeBron James in the finals. And Jimmy Butler was amazing. Uh, then they met last season in the playoffs. And this time, the Boston Celtics, led by your Jason Tatum, won in uh, in Miami in seven, went on to lose in the finals to the Warriors in six also. And now here we are again. Uh, Miami Heat um, up 3-0 and now again walk down step by step by the Boston Celtics, man. And uh, I don't know. I just, it feels like the momentum is shifting. But I, I, I really didn't want to focus on the team so much. I really wanted to focus on these players because I feel like throughout, throughout the regular season, it's not even a comparison. Like Jason Tatum has clearly been the better player in the regular season. But in the playoffs, Jimmy Butler switches... Uh, switches on to playoff Jimmy mode and he goes crazy and now he's like arguably unarguably in the playoffs the top five uh, performer so right here with Jason Tatum and uh, you know when the Miami Heat were up 3-0 it wasn't really a question when people was like who has been the best player in the series it was clearly Jimmy Butler right but now I don't know Uh, if we look at the stats it actually seems that Jason Tatum has been pretty dominant in this series compared to Jimmy Butler, especially uh, coming off that 14-point games with 5-5 five and five on, on 10 shots by Jimmy Butler. Because currently, Jimmy Butler, in five games, is averaging 24.2 points, 7 rebounds, shooting close to 46% from the floor, 25% from the three, on 12 attempts, which is not a lot, but at least he knows that uh, three-point shooting has not been a strong suit, so he's not forcing it. Shout out to him. 84% from the line, though, which is good. So, yeah, pretty good numbers, right? But it's not super impressive compared to what he's been able to do against the Miami, uh, sorry, the Milwaukee Bucks and the New York Knicks, right? On the other hand, you have Jason Tatum, who uh, so far is averaging 26.4 points, Almost 10 rebound, rebounds, even 9.8. Uh, 5.8 assists uh, on, uh, on 50% from the floor, but 29% from three, which is not good because it's actually um, attempted 35 trees and only made 10. So this is not good at all. But this three-point shooting has been pretty up and down uh, all season long. He's actually a tricky shooter, but when he can, he comes to actually being a knockdown shooter or reliable, that's not his game. He, sh- he is shooting 87% from the line, and he is getting there quite a lot at 32 attempts in five games. So, yeah. So it is definitely way closer than uh, at least what I thought. Because uh, I really felt that Jimmy Butler was dominating. Now, Jason Tatum wasn't great in that series, but he's actually having the better numbers. Now, uh, when it comes to two-way play, uh, Jimmy Butler has been better on defense. Also, Jason Tatum is doing a pretty solid job. Jimmy Butler just um, believe almost taken Jalen Brown out of the series. Although he's coming, he's starting to catch his rhythm, but at least he's made him a non-factor in the first three games. So you got to give him that because that is a big accomplishment. Jason Tatum, you know, he's always going to be solid on defense. He's actually over um, underrated, in my opinion, when it comes to two-way players. But yeah, he's not Jimmy Butler. And Jimmy Butler has been slightly better in big moments. But Jason Tatum... Yeah, I feel like Jason Tatum is becoming more efficient uh, by the game. He's actually starting to figure out how he's being defended. And uh, I really wouldn't be surprised if he actually was able to pull off that comeback, especially the way the Heat have been injured. They know they've. Um, we are not expecting Gabe Vincent to play tonight, but what version of Gabe Vincent do the Miami get? I don't know. I don't know. So... Uh, Jimmy Butler probably has one huge game in him. Uh, it probably happens tonight because he knows what at stake. 
But yeah, Jason Tatum, man. Um, I also expect that big explosion that he has at least once a see, or uh, once a series. Um, we have yet to see that fifty point type game. He's not gonna drop fifty, probably not. But that forty pointer. Uh, on uh, making threes and everything that has yet to happen this series so far from three he's been one for six four for nine one for seven three for ten one from three right so if he if he starts to make threes man it's it's a wrap for the miami heat so overall you still have to take jason tatum as the better player in my opinion just because the regular season does matter uh especially when it comes to uh, comparing two guys who have yet to win a ring, so, so the uh, regular season accomplishment should matter. But Jimmy Butler, man, uh, is a tough one to rank in a league. But after uh, this whole playoff run, we're gonna have to have some conversation about his ranking, man, because uh, the fact that he wasn't even an All Star this year is insane to me. So we're really gonna have to sit down and give that man his flower. Uh, put him most definitely in the top 10 of the players that we have in his game because it's I can't really think of any any other player that I could just plug onto this Miami Heat team with the injuries that they have and they end up being that successful but yeah I believe Jason Tatum I would still give him the edge as being the slightly better player right now overall so yeah, uh, I just wanted to talk about the, the that rivalry between those two guys because they are very entertaining to watch. I like uh, the way they can they are, they will be there in the playoffs every season for me. You know I can book it, and yeah, uh, I believe it's way closer than what people actually think. That Jason Tatum actually gets a pretty bad rap in the press for how good he has been. Although although he he can and should be a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, if the Boston Celtics who are going to win a championship is still amazing. So, yeah. Appreciate you guys for checking me out. Get in the comment section and give me your thoughts. Uh, who, who are you taking? Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown? And, yeah. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.